Welcome back here to the Golf Ticket Presents, the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. And we've got match number 28, that match between Northern Scooter Cricket Club. They are sponsored by Tars 777. They're up against Victoria Cricket Club. They are sponsored by Cricket in this all-important match number 28 year at Durbanville Cricket Club. And I'm certainly looking forward to this one, as this will conclude the round-robin stage for these two teams in this competition. As we see the yellow brigade there, Northern Scooter Cricket Club, just going through a little bit of a warm-up before they are going to get onto this pitch. It's certainly been a glorious day here in Cape Town today. And there we see the log. And it's actually Rondebosch Cricket Club that has gone straight to the top. That hasn't been updated from the previous game we saw here earlier. So they are the team that finished number one on the points table. They've gone to 14 points. Durbanville, they remain at 12 points. They will stay on second. Belleville Cricket Club, they have completed their program and they stay on eight points there. And this is now the all-important fourth position, as we can see. Victoria Cricket Club find themselves there in that all-important fourth position on six points. Now then, what that means is the likes of Cryfontaine Cricket Club will also find themselves on six points. That's all got to do with the second column from the right, the net run rate. That's what it's all dependent on. If Victoria wins... It is clear-cut. They will just consolidate that position on the table. However, a victory here to the team at the bottom of the table, yet to get a result in this competition. If they manage to get a result, they will go and put the span in the works because then we're going to need some calculators out and some mathematicians as well because they need to work out what that net run rate is going to be. So a lot depends on this game still, and that is the great nature about this T10 competition that it's going to go down, right down to the wire, until we sort out those playoff positions. So, without further ado, let's go over to the pitch and see what that pitch looks like as well as what the captains have to say. Club Cricket League T10 match. We're busy with match number 28, and that's going to be between Northern Scooter Cricket Club. They are sponsored by Taj 777. They're going to be up against Victoria Cricket Club. They are sponsored by Cricket. We're going to get into the permutations about what this game has in store for us. But firstly, we're going to talk about this pitch. And this pitch, that early morning moisture has now gone out of it. It is still rock hard. It's still a very good wicket. However, I think the spinners are going to come into the, into the fray a little bit more now because the wickets oh, have got a drier tinge to it. That means that the ball might take some turn and the ball might also get some bounce. So I think the spinners are going to get play the part in this, in this game as well as it looks very dry. However, we've always seen the team that have won the toss, they've elected to always bowl first. And I think that's going to stay the same. Permutations for this game is as follows. A win for Victoria, they will go straight through to the playoff position at number four. They will consolidate their position. A win for Northern Scooter Creek Club over Victoria, I think we're going to need the calculators out because then it's going to come down to run rate. But let's go over to the toss and see what the captains have to say. Welcome back here to the toss of this very important clash for different reasons here between Northern Scooter sponsored by Taj 777 and Victoria Cricket Club. They are sponsored by Creek Udder. It's going to be Victoria. No, it's going to be Northern Scooter. They're going to toss. It's going to be Ambrose and it's going to be Warwick. He's going to call. Heads is the call. And heads it is. Now, I can definitely verify that that is a head. <laughs> Warwick. Come and have a word. I know you're standing in. What have you decided to do? Uh, we're going to have a bat first. What's your thinking behind that as well? Just um, the pitch does look a little bit dried out. Yes, no. Well, obviously, I was watching the first game at home. Uh, we obviously know the morning games is a bit of moisture, um, so you want to be bowling first. But I think in the afternoon, you want to be batting first, scoreboard pressure, get some runs on the board, and then defend it. Second innings. There's a lot of permutations with this game. You're setting yourself in four, fourth position at the minute. A victory will just solidate that fourth position. However, you don't want to lose this because we're going to reach for the calculators. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. We don't want to be in that position. We definitely want to get, get the two points. Uh, it will be a lot less stressful and a, a lot easier for us to work out. So, um, but we're not thinking about it at the moment. I think we're just going to focus on, on, on winning this game. Number of changes in your team? Uh, yes, uh, so Marco's uh, not available again today. Uh, so we've got Duri Messina in. Um, and then we've got a couple of other changes. We have a few guys who's late as well. 
Okay, no worries. Go well today. Thank you. Ambrose, bowling, is that anything that you'd have changed with her? Uh, no, we would have bowled uh, either which way, so it's fine. You, got, you guys have the opportunity here to really put the cat amongst the pigeons. A victory for you guys, and I think that's what you want, to just try and finish off this, this tournament potentially on a high. You've got a potential to really upset the apple cart here. Yes, yeah. Um, we're looking to win, obviously, to just get us off that mark. Yeah. So we're going to upset everyone today. Listen, the storm is coming to a conclusion for you guys. You guys still enjoyed it, I, I take it. Yes, we've enjoyed the format of the game. Um, a lot of things didn't go our way, but it's a great tournament. We love it. And uh, any changes to your team? Uh, yes, Jason Wright is coming in for us. Okay, listen, go well in your final game. Thanks a lot, eh? There we have the news here. Victoria Cricket Club. They've won the toss in this all-important game, and they've decided to bat first. The thing that to look out for is Victoria win this game. They will stay fourth. A win for Northern's good. I take it we've got to get all the mathematicians out because they're going to come down to that net run rate. And there we had the news from the toss earlier today from the two captains. Was it Warwick, the standing captain for Victoria Cricket Club, because their captain hasn't, didn't arrive yet for the toss. But Victoria Cricket Club taking the initiative here and batting first. And I don't think that that is a bad decision, especially with the way that wicket looks as it's drying out. As we look at their team on the right-hand side, Ismail Prince, he's an attacking batter. He'll be the keeper, Justin Pringle. He's a hard wicketing, big, tasty left-handed batter. Mahmoud Peterson, he will be the captain for the day. Quinton Dreyer, he's an exciting talent as well and the experience of Aaron Warren Extral as well in that combination. So they got... A blend of experience as well as youth in that team. And then we have Northern Skurud. It's going to be Ambrose to, spot, to captain the team again. Vandam Wilman, the wicket keeper. He's the man from the SA over 40s. Victorious team that won the World Cup here not so long ago. The two Seister brothers, they are in there as well. So it's going to be something for them. And all I think that they want to do is try and get a W for themselves to finish this tournament off on a high. As with me again... Is that man, the big guy, Big Nathan. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Eugene, for that kind introduction. There we see that uh, team in the Yellow Brigade. Northern's good at uh, bowling first. Victoria winning a toss and deciding to bat first. And uh, there we see. So the first game, there we see the umpires. The two umpires, Wrench on the left, Wrench Pretorius. And on the right, it's uh, Jacob de Jong. Pie is sponsored by ID247. Uh, this morning, Eugene, 122 runs. Team batting first. So, could be seeing quite a lot of runs yesterday, this afternoon, Eugene. Yeah, one would suggest that conditions would allow us to say that they could be in for a run fest here. The 122, that was the third highest score in this tournament so far. The highest being 147 amassed by Durbanville Career Club. I think that came in day number one as the two batters that's the big tasty on the left hand side Justin Pringle on the right is Ismail Prince everybody having a laugh and a joke as well as there you see the numbers of Justin Pringle and I certainly think that he would like to go and keep contributing to this team yeah there we see Ismail Prince the keeper six innings 121 in uh, the six innings and uh, all to do here for Victoria Victoria win for Victoria here today. We'll see them through to the playoffs. And uh, Northern's Goodwood yet to, to get under, underway. So if they're going to get a win here, it will be good for them. But I spoke to the coach uh, the other day and they mentioned that they just want to have fun here today. And uh, so let's see what happens. There we see the big man, Justin Pringle, big tasty. Which, which coach did he speak to? Because they're, they're, they're all the same, all these coaches. They say they're nice and comfortable and relaxed. Well, the Northern's good at, Northern's good as a uh, coach, so should be expecting a good encounter here between these two teams. A lot to play for, one uh, for, get a win under the bag, and uh, Victoria just to seal that spot in the top four. Top four we played on Saturday and then Sunday. It's uh, Friday, and then uh, on Sunday is that final. We had a lot to taste uh, this morning, Eugene, between Dunville Cricket Club and Ronald Boss Cricket Club. 
Yeah, I, th I thought that contest might have been a little bit closer, if not favoriting the home side there. But Ronda Baskirikov really outplayed him from ball one. And they got over the line, and it's going to be Vivian Engelbrecht. He's going to start proceedings here with the ball. He's had a good tournament. Contributed with ball, contributed with bat. And the Yellow Brigade just couldn't get things going here for themselves in this tournament. As such, they've yet to win a game. And uh, there we see the keeper. That man standing at short, fine, very fine. So, very interesting. Vivian Engelbrecht, man, wing number one. Seam Bowler here for the Yellow Brigade, Northern Scooter. Now, we just see a bit of a light wind there. There we see his figures. Just one wicket in uh, five matches here for Northern Scooter. For the Yellow Brigade. Well, we all set here. He's going to come around the wicket to the big Tasty. First ball. He's hit that there. It's well stopped there. And Murdoners and Victoria Career Club. They are underway here. Hit very hard there from Justin Pringle. And he gets off the mark. A lot of uh, power behind that bat. I think if he gets a good start here, we could be seeing some fireworks up front here from between these two, Ishmael and uh, Justin Pringle. That's going to bring Ismail Prince. He's on strike now, just taking guard. It's a glorious day here, one has to say. That breeze is just cooling us down as well. Beautifully punched away. They've got a man on the point boundary. We've seen a number of teams that put that into operation here. Yeah, that's one. Just pitching it just outside. Off stump. And uh, punch very really nicely there. But Ishmael Prince, of course, uh, the brother of Prince, who currently plays for Northwest Dragons. So, big name here in this region. It's just having a little bit of a, let's call that a waft outside the rough stump there, Nate. I want to swing away from that left-hander. There we see Ishmael Prince just giving, asking, is it perhaps a wide there? But uh, umpire not giving that one. Umpire is Jacob de Jong. He's standing on that side there at the town end. Vivian, he runs in. Big hit downtown. That ball is up in the air. Is it going to be the first maximum? It is the first maximum. It's gone all the way and just misses the car on the other side of the tree. Eugene, I did say in the slot, I did say that there's a lot of power behind that bat. And there we see the first maximum here today, this afternoon, for Justin Pringle. Yeah, that was definitely in the slot. He just had to get his hands through as both Muron and Murdoff are in the ring. So it's an easy shot for the big tasty. Oh, there's a little bit of the bounce I said earlier. Now then, that's an interesting ball for us to have a look at if we could get another chance because that ball really stood up on the big tasty. And uh, that uh, concludes the end of the first. Uh, just one more delivery left. Just one more delivery left. And uh, there you see that delivery. Just a bit of a nip off that surface. Again, we saw one in the first innings there as well for first game. A bit of bounce. So, a good start here for Vivian. Well, that's in the air. Can somebody get there? They can't get there, and they're going to come back for two. Now then, that does conclude the first over, Big Night. 11 without loss. Yeah, just a top edge there from Justin. Big pardon, Ishmael Prince. And that concludes the first. There we see the scorecard. One over gone. 11 runs without loss. Most importantly there, no wickets lost. Justin Prince, Justin Pringle, big part, eight runs. And Vivian Engelbrecht, 11 runs in his first over. It looks like it's going to be the captain himself, Ambrose, to come and take up proceedings here from the golf course in.
There we see what he's done in this tournament. Also just picked up the one wicket, and I think that says a lot about why they find themselves where they are. Just the inability to get wickets. Just one wicket there for Ambrose Versace. They have a few had a few games where by very close, but unfortunately not to be for them. So perhaps this could be the game. There that big fish. Justin Pringle. The big tasty. Ambrose Versach with ball in hand. The captain here for Northern Scooter. Men in the yellow brigade. And we will start the proceedings for second over. All right, projected scores 110. We'll keep an eye on that because we're going to have a keen look at that during this game. That's a full toss hit down the ground. They're running quite hard. Here come Ismail Prince. He's going to run hard. Oh, it's a direct hit. It's a direct hit. He's been given out. Can you believe it? A direct hit from Jordy from way off the boundary. It's the stumps directly and Ismail Prince has to go. Yeah, good start here from Northern Scooter. Good effort in the outer ring. And there we see the ball being whipped in and uh, hitting the stumps. And here we see, uh, unfortunately, not to be for Ishmael Prince. And unfortunately, has to depart. Rensha Pretorius giving that one out. First wicket down, Northern Scooter advantage. I wonder if we can get a look at the way Ismail Prince ran there. He sort of ran the longer pop way. He still might not have made it, but he took a long way around there to get back to his mark on this side. But what a throw by Jordy from the boundary. Direct hit. Oh, that was uh, Jordan Bowers. It's also a keeper as well. Uh, there we see Quinton Dreyer. Quinton Randy Dreyer, they call him. His mates call him Randy. So... Yeah, we still have that left hand right hand combination out there for the batters. Yeah, one would like to think that he's going to get that form that he showed in that first game. I think he batted really well. Got really a good com uh, contribution. If it wasn't 50 or beyond, he really looked well in that first game. He had to kick on from there. But can he get his team into the playoffs? And then who knows what could happen there. I think the most important thing out there is. Uh, that big man, Justin Pringle, on strike. That's a full toss, and that ball has worked through the offside, and that's going to go for a four. Yeah, poor delivery there from Ambrose Vasahi, and deserved to be punished by Justin Pringle. And uh, paid off the back foot through the covers, four runs. Don't want to give this man too many of these stuff in the love. He's the big man. He can put them away, the big tasty. That delivery is quite fine. We can move on to the next, the next ball. Oh, dot ball. Dot ball. Folded nice and straight that time. Yeah, better return from Amos Vasaki. Ready. Five runs. And that wicket, that run out, crucial wicket of Ishmael Prince. Bowled him. Bowled him and the off stump goes cartwheeling out the ground. And what a start this has been for the captain, Ambrose. They get a run out in his over that is bowled. And now he's got rid of the big tasty, the big danger man, Justin Pringle. And uh, that's the wicket of the big fish. Here we see Pringle just playing across the line and missing everything. Off stamp, car wheeling there, and that's the second wicket down now, second over. And Northern, Northern's good at a very good position here. The spanners are right, get the toolbox out here, Nathan. Are we going to get the spanner, are we going to take that spanner out and throw it in the cog here? Because Victoria Cricket Club, they've lost their second wicket here, and that's a second danger man gone. The big tasty, as in walks, the man that did the toss, Warwick. He did the toss, but Mahmoud, he's arrived. He's the captain for the day, and he's going to join Quinn and Drea. Yeah, we see Warwick's uh, murderous figures. Yeah, just three innings, seven runs to show for it. So it must, not much to see there. But uh, currently, Victoria are in trouble here at the moment. Two wickets down. It's our two overs. So a lot to do here. 
again. Just a win for them. Victoria, move on to we'll move on to the playoffs. These guys to my right are picking up stompies, as we say back here in Cape Town. They're picking up stompies. I'm not sure what they're listening to. They can't hear properly, mate. 16 for two. Two deliveries remaining. Victoria in trouble. Oh, that's what they are. And what an over the captain has produced here. This game has got everything in now. Now then, big Nathan. Now then. Oh, we're going to need the mathematicians to come and make a turn here. And find out and work on those net run rates. Eugene, I thought you were the mathematician around you. No, uh, no, no, no. I'll leave that. Left those days behind. <laughs> oh, we don't see the old we don't see the old leaf, do we? We don't see the old leaf. How many leaves? I think you can count on one hand how many leaves you've seen. Already these two new batters out there. Don't worry very about strange. the batters. I'm not worried about very the batters. Very strange, Eugene. Very I'm strange to have levers in T T tens. That's I what agree. I'm worried about. <laughs> Those dot balls. <laughs> no, that's pushing the offside. They've run again. Oh my word! De Jong, what are you gonna do, mate? And it's that man, Vadim oh, Moorman. Well Beg your pardon, it's Ashley Green. And uh, that concludes the end of the second, 17 for two. Yeah, everybody's standing here, the scorers. They're just going to be in this game as well. Two wickets gone. The two big men, Justin Pringle, Ismail Prince, both gone. They're back in the hut, 17 for two. One over to go of the power play. Victoria Crew Club have it all to do here. Place and a place in the playoffs. A place in that eliminator. Who's going to get there? And a place in the Champions League, as Nathan reminds me. A lot at stake. Here we see that man, Pierre Seister. One of the Seisters. We've ended up here. There we see his bowling figure. Seven wickets in five matches. So quite a key member here for Northern Scooted. I mean, from the Yellow Brigade. One wonder how many wickets his brother picked up was playing as well today. So then, here we go. Pierre Seister steaming in from the town end. It's outside the off stump. Jacob, Jacob, talk to me. He says, no, that's fine. That's another leave. Another leave indeed. Just adding to those dot balls we saw in the previous game. Durban Volker Club. With that uh, 20 plus dot balls. Eventually started to add up at the end. So, Victoria just need to reduce these dot balls here. Big hit through. Extra cover. That's a glorious shot. The ball's making his way. It's not going to get to the boundary, but they're going to get to. And just after that leave the previous ball, all these teammates said, listen, that's a T10, not a 50 over. Get on with it, mate. Yeah, that is the longer side of the boundary from uh, Warwick Roder. And the man standing long off, able to cover that, uh, just cut it down to two runs. From uh, long off to deep uh, extra cover. I'm sure uh, greetings to all the Cryfontaine Cricket Club people watching this game with interest. Short ball, short ball. Dot ball it is. And uh, that's probably the first of the over there, the signal from uh, umpire Jacob de Jong. Umpires are sponsored by ID247. Give a special shout out to our Cryfontaine Cricket Club viewers because they are certainly watching with bated breath, watching this game to see what the outcome is going to be. Yeah, Cryfontaine, they obviously had to deliver again. Just uh, again, we spoke about that. It's just crouching a bit, that batter there. So, yeah, Craft and Ten team in green. They're looking, they're looking at that. And it is, just for the viewers at home, it is if he's in an upright position, standing at the crease. Mm. Uh, Craft and Ten, the green machine, definitely keeping an eye out on this game. Full ball, smashed down the ground, straight to long off. It's just going to be one. 
Now then, three balls gone in this over already. Apologies, four balls gone in this over. Two to go in this very important over. And this over will conclude the power play period. And uh, Fielder there is his, actually his brother. Standing at uh, long off, so doing uh, brotherly things there, his siblings. Three runs already in this first over. Quinton Randy Dreyer on strike. Beautifully hit through mid-wicket. No run, it's just straight to Eric, the shuffler, Osner. That makes it three dot balls in this over. These dot balls oh, are starting to add out now, the, the, Eugene. The dot ball is adding to the tension here. The tension is growing here because you know the importance of this game. You know what this game means. Barnes is down the ground. Eric the shuffler tries to get there. It's just going to be one. Now then, there's a lot of shouting going on as that concludes the power play period. Three overs gone. 21 for two. Nathan, I think we're in for a sum game here, especially with this tension growing and growing. Now we see some, we're actually seeing some fingernails being bitten by Victoria. We're looking for that calculator, that Casio calculator. Please bring it out. And that's the signal there from Renshaw Pretorius, just signaling the end of the power play. 21 runs in the power play, three overs, seven runs per over, Eugene. Nathan, I'm looking here at my, at my mathematician here. He's, he's not sure. His legs are going jumping up and down. He's nervous as anything because he knows even the importance. His calculation has to be spot on to get us at fourth place. And it's going to be the cap, or the standing captain it was at time. It's going to be Eric. The shuffler, Osner, as Ambrose is the captain, he's back in the proceedings here. And this man, he might also play straight here because I think this wicket might suit him. You actually had a word with Eric Osner during the, the last break. What did he say to you, Eugene? Ah, he just always smiles. He enjoys his game. He enjoys being out there. As we look at his figures, they only picked up the two wickets. But what he did say is they would like to finish off with a win. And who wouldn't like to finish off with a win, eh? That's a full toss down the ground. Sides to pick that up very late. They have to come back for two. No, they don't. No, they don't. It's just one. Now then. You, you sense what's happening to the right here, Nate? Come on now. I think uh, there was opportunity to go for the second there. But unfortunately, not running the first one hard. Hit down the ground again. It's going to be straight to size to ambling in. I would take him on. Can't amble in like that, youngster. There we see that run rate slowly going down now to 6.9. Projected score. Eugene, are we playing a test cricket here or something? Down the ground again. Half stop by the shuffler. Uh, if you're going to run two there, you're going to get run out, mate. It's just another one. This is a good over so far. Three singles. Cigarettes are being lit. The vapes are being sucked. Smoke all over the place here. There's a big shot. Just down the ground. It's just going to be one. It's just going to be one. Vivian Engelbrecht, he mops up there. Tell you what, we're getting... Yeah, there's a good game for us here to watch it, Eugene. The good smoke game. is getting more here. <laughs> and then let some gas there or something, mate. Oh, straight down. Is that a dot ball? That's a dot ball. That is a dot ball, Nathan. Got ourselves a game here, Eugene. 25 for two. One more. And uh, we'll conclude the end of the fourth. Oh, he's lapped that. Lovely shot there by Quinton Dreyer. Just ramping or lapping that round the corner. Nobody's home. And that goes for four. And a much needed four for Victoria Cricket Club. Sponsored by Cricket Adam. Definitely much needed four. And uh, Quinton Dreyer finding that gap. That's a vacant uh, fine leg area. Much needed four runs. And that concludes the end of the fourth. There we see the sponsors. Tard 777. Kakada. India, Trust of India. Quintre now moves on to seven with that uh, four to conclude the fourth. Warwick Rhodes with uh, six runs, five, four overs, 29 for two.
It's a pity we can't get a camera on the group to our right here, Victoria Krieger Club. I tell you, they are living every... The smoke. Who said T10 cricket means nothing? It's just a bash around. Look at these faces to my right. They are well and truly living every ball because they know the importance of this game. They know they can get to the playoffs. They ain't in with the shout, mate. They think they're cruising very nicely, but they at the definitely moment, don't definitely think definitely so. not. They definitely don't think that at all. I know these boys. They are sitting on the edge of their seat. Look at the smoke to my right. They are puffing and puffing there, mate. It's, as all, smiles. it's, all, smiles. it's all smiles for Victoria. Ah, good it's luck with smiles. that, mate. Big game here. Yeah. A chance for Victoria to get into a playoff of ignore, ig, the Ignorio. The first up, Golf Ticket presents the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. And it's that man, Vivian Engelbrecht, to come back for second over here to conclude his uh, spell. Going for 11 in his first. And this over is going to take us to the golf ticket strategic timeout period. He's gone full, he's gone straight. Can he come back for two? That should surely be two. He's coming back for two. I must say, the, the fielding of the Yellow Brigade here, the Northerns, Good at Cricket Club. The fielding has been top notch. Yeah, good running there between Quinton and Warwick. Must need the two runs. Need to be very productive out there. Run the first one hard. Gives you opportunity to run the second. He's trying to moose that. He has absolutely tried to moose that. Only ended up going for a dot. You still say they're going all right here. Big Nathan? Not with nine dot balls. Nine dot balls already so far in this innings. That's up in the air. Who wants it? Seister's underneath it. Oh, he oh. went for the absolute specky. Vivian Engelbrecht not really happy there. But good effort from uh, Seister. There we see the top edge from Warwick. And uh, man standing at... Uh, Point coming over, cross, backward. And uh, Forsey drops that one. Very difficult one. Sort of ran around it, it looks like. Not running straight towards it. Might have just cost him there. Now then, Quentin Dreyer, he's on strike. He's the man. He's only on seven of six balls. He's played that nicely behind point. That's actually Jason, who's on the field. He just passes the ball there to Pierce. Jason's getting a run out here in the sun. Yeah, great shot there from Randy Quinton Dreyer. Played off the back foot to guard it towards third. And able to get again two runs. Much needed. 34 for two. Two balls to go till we get to the golf ticket strategic timeout period. That's just clipped into the onside. They've got it all to do here, Nathan. I think they've got it all to do here. Victoria Cricket Club. They've got to find a way to really accelerate it. They've got to find a way to find boundaries. Definitely. Just one more delivery and then on to that golf ticket strategic timeout. Two minutes. And we'll have a PM, the manager. That's an inside edge. And that ball is running around to fine leg. It's definitely going to be two. It's definitely going to be two. And that's where it's going to stay. So we one ball to go here. 35 for two. In fact, that's that's the end of that fifth over, and that will take us to that strategic timeout, as indicated there by Jacob de Jong. After five, there we see it caught. Golf ticket, strategic timeout, two minutes. Coaches and uh, players having a chat. Yeah, and that's going to be a very important period this for Victoria Creek Club for them to even consolidate that fourth position as we're going to hand you over now to that man, PM Prasanta, to take us through this golf ticket. Strategic time. Darshako Samai ho chuka hai golf ticket strategic time out ka. Golf ticket hai UAE ka sabse zada bharo se mand online raffle draw. ये है फुली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज और रजिस्टर्ड ऑनलाइन राफेल ड्रॉप फ्रॉम यूई आप अभी गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर रजिस्टर कर सकते हैं और खेल सकते हैं अपनी किस्मत का खेल 
गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम आपको मौका दे सकता है करोड़ों कमाने का और अपने सपनों को पूरा करने का तो देरी किस बात की है दोस्तों अभी जाइए रजिस्टर करिए गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पे और आजमाइए अपने लक को खेलिए अपनी किस्मत का खेल सिर्फ और सिर्फ गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पे यू का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद ऑनलाइन रैफल ड्रॉ जो कि है फुली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज और रजिस्टर्ड गल्फ टिकट ना सिर्फ हमारे स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट के स्पॉन्सर्स हैं पर वो टाइटल स्पॉन्सर भी हैं हमारी इस लीग के जिसका नाम है गल्फ टिकट प्रेजेंट्स केप टाउन क्लब क्रिकेट लीग टी टेन क्रिकेट का असली एनिमल Eugene, I'm actually glad that uh, Kart is working today. The last time we were here, but, uh, Kart just had a functional issues, and that was a uh, PM. Yeah, no, Dad, they worked that out. As we look at that, still to come after the conclusion of this tournament on the 15th, 16th, and 17th, the top four teams go into this Cape Town Club Cricket League Champions League Season One, and that is something to really look forward to. And I'm calling. and that is something to really look forward to and i can't wait for that but now our attention goes straight to this these this next five overs of this match in terms of victoria cricket club sponsored by cricketer that certainly means a a great deal for them to just get into that fourth position as we see jason who's going to come into the attack here he is the chairman of northern scudi cricket club he certainly dons it well there and he knows what field he wants a lot of experience certainly doing the job on and off the field there jason that's hit nicely out to the man and the sweeper bond is just going to be one so it's a good start some slow arm just a sliding through there not much uh, purchase there for jason right turns that into a full toss here he comes vivian engelbrecht quick to the ball just keeps it down to one perhaps uh, missing out there there is that gap between backward square and square leg he's gone for the big shot he's gone for the big shot there's no deep square out there and that's going to go or is not going to oh, go no. the ball has stopped can you believe it Eugene I did say that there was a gap there and we see you see just sh- stepping across the offside and looking for that gap and unfortunately on the boundary not reaching the boundary but they're able to run three runs there I'm not sure why they had five people in the ring there as that field has gone out there he's in front of square now but again Eugene I do say that the um both his right hand batters will be looking to hit on the uh, fine leg area is that it's really vacant back of the square no fielders there that's it to extra ambrose with the shy oh! another, another hit and this time i think we are going to go upstairs we are going to go upstairs it's another hit rancher pretoria sits taking it up and uh, Now Shotgun Harrison the third umpire having a tough tough job here Oh I think it's safe I tell you what it's between frames I tell you what we're it's missing a frame frames. we're missing a frame on that one It's between frames Eugene So the really a tough one for Shotgun Harrison the third umpire from what the pictures umpire shotgun harrison can only go with what he sees that is just one we one frame away one single frame can you believe it the shotgun harrison just giving a nod out 
So, tough one. Tough decision there. First time is a tough decision for the third umpires here today. That was a toughie. Let me tell you, Shotgun Harrison got it right. He got a spot on. He had to go with what he had and what he saw there. <laughs> He's like cheapest. <laughs> cheapest. <laughs> so, that and all end up with two runs. Great feeling there by Ambrose, the captain. I really pleased out there, fielding of Northern Scooter. And trying to swat that again. It's just going to be the one. Now we've seen Quinny Dreyer lap the previous spinner of Eric Osner. Is he going to do the same because there's nobody back there? He's decided just to dab that in the offside for one. And that concludes the sixth over. Six overs gone. 42. Oh, apologies. 46 for two. Surely to goodness. Victoria Cricket Club need to put the foot down. They really need to try and find boundaries in consecutive well, one, two boundaries and over from here on in. That's what they need. Yeah, just under eight runs per over after six overs. So if we have to go how things are going at the moment, score will be just under 80 runs. And there we see the figures. Most importantly, the wicket, Ambers Fisaki. So far, so far, so good here for Northern Scooters bowlers. So Victoria perhaps... Take me back to the decision of, of batting first, Matt. Yeah, um, I think if you bat second, especially in the position that you find that they find themselves in and what the result would mean, I think they might have been better off just seeing what Northern's good to get and then trying to chase that. And if they don't get the, the actual runs, just get to that target that would mean that they would just go through on the net run rate anyway. So it was a really strange decision for me. However, they took the bold step and trying to bat first. Now then, they have got to try and do something with that because now they're going to face up to Reeve Seister. He's had three matches, took, taken two wickets so far. So one Seister. Faces another. That's a ball that's been hit. Pass. Point. Just forward of point on the offside. Beats his brother at point and that's gone for four of the first ball. And that's what Victoria Cricket Club needs. Yeah, poor piss delivery. Just stepping back inside his crease there. Quinn's Quinton Andrea. Wide piss delivery. And uh, find that gap. Good placement there from Quinton Andrea. Yeah, I think Quinny would love this with pace coming on. Onto the bat a little bit more. There's a dot ball. Now then, that ball just seemed to skid through a little bit lower than before. And I said at the pitch report that the, the pitch did have that tendency or a look about it that's going to be dry. It might just keep a little bit low. Might just take turn. And uh, Quinton Drayton unfortunately missing out to that one again. Short oh, ball. Oh, oh. Short ball. Have some of that, Randy Dreyer. And uh, Randy Dreyer just shimmy down the wicket. There we see that light shimmy. And uh, says he saw him coming down the wicket and gave him, gave, gave him one. Say, kiss that one, mate. And there you see him ducking down there. Good bowling here from Sester. That's going to be a no ball. That's going to hit straight out to the sweeper. He went for the slow ball. Unfortunately, this came out wrong. Ended up being a, a high full toss. Now then, it's going to be just a free hit. And uh, Warika Rode has an opportunity here to go big. Free hit opportunity here for Victoria. That's it. Big hit, downtown, huge! There we go, Warwick. Taking full advantage of that uh, free hit. And uh, Warwick Road is definitely not missing out of that one. And uh, slowly that run is starting to increase now. Getting in the slot and uh, big swap of the bat. Over, long off and long on for maximum there. Massive maximum.
So just looking for the ball here. Yeah, we found it. Perhaps uh, Jacob de Jong, just have a quick look at it. Just an inspection of the ball. Again, umpires are sponsored by ID247. Yeah. Patches of red behind uh, the sponsor behind Jacob de Jong. That's up in the air. It's gone straight to long on. It's gone straight to long on. And long on holds on to the catch. And that's a third wicket gone. And he was looking to go again, straight over. Long off and long on. It was looks like it was Eric Osner there. Beg your pardon, not Eric Osner. But uh, another wicket goes down now. Victoria and Dian straight here at the moment. Next, next batter here, number 13. One in extra. And, uh, now what I would like to see Warren do here is hit the ball a little bit straighter. We've seen every time he comes in, face a ball he tries to hit the ball a lot square he tries to play around himself we see he's got 45 runs he's a better player than that but i just feel sometimes he just needs to hit the ball a lot straighter down the ground now if i was northern's good on the other hand i will aim just try and hit those stumps try and bow wicket to wicket and forcing him to hit down the ground because that's not something that we've seen he's got this tendency just to play around his pad or just play around the ball sometimes yeah currently victoria under pressure at the moment losing quick wickets at regular intervals and uh, just looking at the run rate, just uh, run about eight runs per over. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Here we go, Seister, he runs in again. It's another short ball, immediately. Gets that ball onto the onside, they're going to come back for two. And two it is. I don't think that was the right option there from Reeve Seister. I think he should have gone wicket to wicket and forcing extra to hit down the ground he loves to hit square of the wicket 90 ball a short ball which he just hit as well so for me that wasn't a great option but ended up in two runs of so 60 for three after seven overs when the dreyer now joined by one extra good running between the wicket there for that final delivery picked up nicely there by warwick extra vivian engelbert's done with his two overs and uh, we still have a few more overs yeah, three more overs. Expensive over there from Seister. Reeves Seister, 14 runs. But the most important thing is that in the, in the wicket column, getting a wicket. So all to do here. A lot of pressure now towards Victoria. That's hit down the ground. That's going to be four. Yes, it's going to be four. of This first ball from Jason Wright as he comes back into the attack. Yeah, good shot there from Quentin Dreyer. Hit between Gay Shimmer across on offside and lofted over covers and lofted between the long off and uh, the cover, extra cover. So good placement again from Randy Dreyer. Got to put the foot down. He's got to put the foot down. They've got to amass a bigger total here. He's gone again. That's going to be flat. That's going to be six. That's going to be a flat six. Let me tell you, that never got off the ground very high and didn't go that high indeed but he's hit that flat and he's hit that sweet as a nut same option there from Quinn Dreyer but much bigger and uh, gets a six first was a four now a six yeah Jason under pressure here. No ball. it's a big hit again I don't think that's a no ball I don't know what you're looking at now Nathan that ball was below waist high Having a quick check for that noble. Told you. Told you. And he's bowled him. Next ball. Jason ends up bowling him. Didn't I tell you? Ball straight. Wicket to wicket. You'll get your man. Didn't I say that, big Nate? I did say that. So Jason's doing the business on and off the field. There. Man, just swapping across the line. Pissing outside. Over the line and off stump. Done. That's 
four wickets down now for Victoria. That is a big problem here to have. Under pressure. The batting has been a problem for Northern Scooter Creek Club, sponsored by Tar 777. They haven't amassed the runs as well to try and get them victories in this game. So even whatever total this is going to be, where are we sitting now? 71 for four. That is still a daunting task for this team because we haven't seen them even come close to that. Dayan Stober, he's in now. 12 runs in four innings. He's got to hang around there and bat with Quinny Dreyer there. See if they can amass some more runs. I think it will be very important that uh, Quinton Dreyer gets most of, most of the strike out there. Yes, Dayan Stober can. Uh, Will the Willow. Decent batter there. So, two more deliveries to conclude this eighth over, Eugene. But the most important thing, that's run rate is slowly increasing now. It needs, to clear, it needs to go a little bit quicker than that if you're a Victoria Cricket Club fan. It's good stuff that by... It's just going to be one. Good stuff by Jason. Ready in this over. 12 runs with that wicket. So one more delivery. Jason, very interesting. Where will you put it? Big hit. Huge hit. Down it goes to the B ground. And that's a way to finish this over. And again, going across offside. And good pick up there from Quentin Dreyer. And locked it over. Square leg. Else over, but uh, sponsor boards. Quinton J really looking promising here. 37 runs this far. That concludes the end of the eighth. Send the eighth for four. Yeah, he's going to be the lone man there. Warwick, he's played his part. 21 of 17 deliveries, but Quinton Dreyer, 37 of 19. He's really got to put the foot down here. 12 balls to go. 78 for four. Few men in the huts that can still wheel the willow, as they say. It's going to be the younger size, the pure size. That he's going to come back in the attack after bowling and over that only went for four. What, Vic, what uh, Northern's good at cricket club needs now is for him to bowl another one of such overs. So, Pierre, the brother of Reeve Seister. Reeve going for 14. So, a battle of the Seisters out there. Just is taking on the armed guards there. Seven, Pierre Seister. Dejan Stubb on strike. You'll feel that maybe Quinton Dre should take most of the strike, Eugene. 100%. I was just about to say, just get one and get Quinny on strike. Just get one. Feel the set deep. Ring feel is on the ring. Dot ball. Dot ball. Starts with the ball that's full. Dot ball, another dot ball there, send eight for four. Just looking at the predictions again from my side. I think uh, anywhere between 95 and yeah, 105, UT. Anywhere. 95 and 105. Just get one score, mate. Full toss. It's down there. To the man who took the catch earlier. It's just going to be one, but more importantly, Quinny Dreyer, he's now on strike. Now then, what are we going to see from him? Are we going to see him try and ramp this? Are we going to see him move across to the offside and try and moose it over to where the TV screen is there? Which way is he going to go? He's gone there towards that area. It's just going to be one. This is Jason. He finds himself in the, in the hitting zone there. If I'm him, I would make my, make my way to short third man or short fine leg. <laughs> what are you doing out there, Jason? <laughs> Use your experience, mate. Warren, we won that guy. That uh, just a height there, problem height. The Rancher Pretorius just giving one for that over. We thought maybe it would be a wide, but not to be. Here we see that uh, delivery again. 
There's groans to my left, groans to my right. I'm not sure what to go. And I'm still hearing groans. I'm still hearing groans. I mean, really now. Under pressure there, Jacob de Jong and gives it a wide. I mean, really now. I can't keep up this. this. I can't keep up, mate. Always helps having a replay, Eugene. That's it out there. That looks like Eric Osner that time scrambling is gonna just gonna come back for two. Again, there's an appeal. Again, there's an appeal. What is umpire Jacob de Jong says? He's just walking, ambling across. He says, run out. Review. But I must say, Northern Squidward's fielding here at the moment. Very, 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 very promising. And uh, we're very close again. Let's hope it's not another in between friends situation. It's a great throw, I must say. Oh, now let me tell you, let me tell you, that's a little bit of a schoolboy error that by the youngster. He didn't slide his bat in. He go in for the old. He went for the old over the line one. Just take a wild guess. What school he went to, Eugene? <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Don't, don't you guys? Don't didn't they teach themselves to just slide the bat in at that school of yours that we're not mentioning? <laughs> Well, we're going to mention it. It's Weinberg, boys. He's at Weinberg, boys. Dot ball. Another swing and a miss there from Pierce Seister. Just one more remaining. A lot of umpires here to my right, Nathan. A lot of umpires here to my right. I'm uh, thinking they're feeling a lot of pressure out there, the Victorian dugout. Let, let me just get a count. I think there's about 10 umpires here to my right. 10. One to my left to Shotgun Harrison. Big hit downtown. And uh, I think that's a parachute off. Note that. Oh, and again, are we going to see it again? We are going to see it again. Let me tell you. Jacob de Jong, he is waiting to sow again. There has been all action in this over. Can you believe it? Warren, can you believe it, mate? Man, oh man, the fielding of Northern's Gooded. Very impressing here at the moment. Pressure fielding. Other side, other side. Other side. Well, we can't see because Jacob de Jong is in the middle Another of angle. things here. Another angle, surely. Jacob de Jong is in the middle. Now, let me tell you, this is closer than what it looks. Another angle, surely. Oh, safe, this mate. is it's closer safe, than what it looks, guys. It is safe, mate. It is safe. Tell you what, after days, after days. Again, it's frames, Eugene's frames. Nathan. Between after, frames. Nathan, after days of the third umpire having a day of leisure here at the golf ticket presents at Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. Shotgun Harrison has got his work cut out here today, man. Taking long yet. If it's on the line, it's out. Because nothing's over the line. That was very, very close. Very close. The boys to my right, they happy. The guys on the field, they not happy. Can't keep everybody happy. But let me tell you, that was as close a run out of opportunity as we ever wish to see. 
And uh, just a benefit of a doubt towards a batter there. Just a bit of inconclusive. And there we see the sponsors, Tar 777, to sponsor Northern Squidward, the Real Yellow Brigade, and uh, Krakada Trust of India, sponsor Victoria Cricket Club. There's the ramp. There's the ramp. We thought it would come. We thought it would come, and it came now from Kwani Dreyer as he moves into the 40s. He moves to 42, and that's the final over. Bit of a premeditated shot there from Kwani Dreyer. Yeah, now Shimi across the wicket and uh, into that gap there. And he's uh, just standing in his position. New ready. I know that goes for, going for four, mate. Okay. Ready, Eugene. He's getting close to 95, 100, 105. I would say 100 runs here for Victoria. Hit that down. That's a dot ball. Excellent stuff off his own bowling by Ambrose. Now, is he going to ramp it again? Is he going to give himself room? Is he going to try and walk across to the offside to hit that across to the leg? What is Quinny Dreyer going to give us here? He goes to the offside and has been stumped. And that's great work by Werner Moore. Great bowling there from Ambrose Vasaki. He saw that Jay just gave himself a bit of room. And uh, just bowling now, just outside wide. And uh, unfortunately, Quentin Dreyer out of his crease there. Good innings there from Quentin Dreyer. 40 odd. Another wicket goes down for Victoria. Yeah, just waiting to get the decision there. And that is him gone. Excellent decision there by Jacob de Jong. As at the end of a very good innings there by Quinny Dreyer. He started, started very circumspectly, but then he got going, hit some glorious shots, and he's gone for 42. Next batter in is uh, Reese Thompson. Reese Thompson, a bowler, known to be a bowler here. Yeah. Coming to bat now for Victoria. Yeah, he's got to come and face the music here. Yeah, not many balls left. He said he's got 28 runs in the three innings that he's been out there in the middle. He's got to start swinging the bat from ball one here. Yeah, I did mention he's a bowler. Let me see. Three innings and 28 runs. Center. Center. Good start here for Ambrose Fasaki. Bowling his second over here. Six runs already. First over. Downtown, huge hit. Where's he been? Where has Reese Thompson been? Reese Thompson in the slot and a big shot over long off and uh, says the just watching sail over his head. Going downtown. I am going downtown, mate. Two more deliveries now to conclude the ten. That's up in the air. Who wants it? Fielder comes in. Looks like it's Jordy. Oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Oh, when things are just not going your way, they just don't go your way. Nothing has gone the way of the yellow brigade here, the yellow machine, the yellow submarine. Northern's good at cricket club. Jordan Browers, what have you done? Under the ball there, but still drops it. Textbook stuff. But drops it. And uh, just one more delivery now remaining to conclude the 10. Inching a bit closer to that 100 mark. Powerfully hit down the ground. Vervian Engelbrecht comes in. He's just going to tidy up. He's going to keep it down to two. Now the equation is very, very, very simple. Northern's good at cricket club sponsored by Tar 777. They've got a mass 100 on the dot. Yeah, Eugene, I did say the score was between 95 and 105, in between 100 runs, required by Northern Scudder for victory. First win, if that get it over the line, anything over 100 runs, be a victory for Northern Scudder. It's another reminder 
Victoria winning the toss and deciding to bat first, scoring 99. As Eugene mentions, just requiring very simple 100 runs, 10 runs per over required for victory for Northern Skudud. Yeah, they've got to go have all to do here. More importantly, they want to get a W on the on the card here. Northern Skudud Cricket Club sponsored by Tar 777. But it's a man from Victoria Cricket Club sponsored by Crick Adder at a mass 99 for 5. They've got to that total. They've posted a total. We will get all the permutations as to what it will imply in, in particular to Cryfontaine Cricket Club who are watching this game with bated breath. And those are the bowling figures. Pierce Seister, he's a standout. Didn't get any wickets, but only going at five and a half and over. And he was really good as well. Eric Osner, only bowling the solitary over. Would have liked to see him bowl another one. But that's as it is. They have to come out here and try and get 100 off 10 overs. Anything quicker than that, Cryfant and Crew Club will be loving them for bits. I'm telling you that. However, we show, we're going to show you now some of the highlights from that first innings. And then we're going to go and hear from two crucial men from the various teams. Yeah, and with me here, just to have a few words, is Eric the Shuffler Osner from Ta Northern's Good Cricket Club, the sponsor by Ta 77. Eric, the tournament hasn't gone maybe the way you guys liked it, but I think there's still an element of enjoyment that you guys got out of it. Um, yes, 100%. I think it has been a great initiative for a tournament. Um, we've really enjoyed ourselves. Um, so, yeah, it's been a great tournament. There's a lot that you possibly can take from this tournament in terms of the batting, the bowling and the fielding aspects going into you're going into an off-season, but something that you can really start talking about when the new season starts. Yes, definitely. I think it's a big eye-opener, especially for us, the club, seeing the quality that's been in the tournament. Now we know we're lacking in some departments, especially trying to get into the Prem. We know what we need to do. Listen, and you brought some of your youngsters through as well and, and some of your senior players, and I'm sure they enjoyed it as well. Yes, no, it's been a, it's been a great experience for everyone. Um, I think this is only making us stronger as a club, even though we haven't won a game yet. Mm -hmm. But um, at the end of the day, it's just opening the eyes. I want to talk about that. You haven't won a game yet. However, you, you stand a chance of possibly upsetting the apple cart here, throwing a span in the works, as, as I say. If you get victory here today over Victoria, we're going to need the calculators or the mathematicians out to see who's going to go through to that fourth place. Um, yes, 100%. We've been hearing a few rumours from different clubs <laughs> asking us to do them certain favours. Um, so, you know, we've still got a lot to play for. Um, of course, we want to see certain sides in the, in the, in, in the um, finals. So, um, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Listen, go well today. Thank you very much, Eugene. Thanks, Eric. And now we're going to have the standing 
outstanding captain. I haven't had a or standing coach. I should say assistant coach. How's it been going for you in this tournament so far? So far it's been very good. I think the guys are enjoying it and I'm also enjoying it on the sidelines. Vital game for you boys. Um, yes, you find yourself in that fourth position, but this will just consolidate that going into the playoffs, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I think we just told the players to just uh, play good cricket, put the runs on the board and uh, let everything sort itself out. What have you taken from this tournament, uh, basically, as an assistant coach, as you said? Uh, I think uh, the learning curves are big. I think, you know, listening to the guys, seeing the things from the sideline and also learning from the other teams, I think it's a great, great experience for me. Yeah, and now, message is quite simple. Win, you go through. Lose, then we're going to have to get the calculators out. You don't want to get it to that stage. Definitely, no, we don't want the calculators. So the most important thing, I think, we told the boys, enjoy the game, play well, and don't think about anything on your mind. What will it mean to a club like Victoria Cricket Club to get to the playoffs of this inaugural tournament? I think it's going to be very good. We had a very good season, so I think this is just the cherry on the cake. So hopefully... You know, go well and also into pre-season, into next season, everything goes right. Listen, go well today, B. Thank you very much, Eugene. That was Bernard, the assistant coach here for Victoria Cricket Club. And they've got it all to do here. They find themselves in that fourth position. Can well they stay there and go into those playoff positions? Or will Northern Scooter Cricket Club put a spanner in the works?
And welcome back here to the Golf Ticket Presents, the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. We're busy with match number 28. Match between Northern's Guru Cricket Club, sponsored by Tars 777. They up against Victoria Cricket Club, sponsored by Crick Hutter. And there are the umpires, Jacob de Jong on the left, Wrench of Pretorius on the right. They are sponsored by ID 247. Those are the Victoria Cricket Club men there. They amassed 99 in that first innings. In there, a lot of over. So it's going to be the yellow submarine. Northern's good at cricket club is going to come in here and going to try and get to 100. There are a lot of permutations, and we'll wait to hear what that, those permutations will be. But it's going to be exciting stuff. Nonetheless, that's still with me as the big Nathan. Nathan, what do you take from that first innings of this match? Yeah, thank you again, Eugene, for that uh, welcome. Just another reminder. Victoria winning the toss and deciding to bat first, scoring 99. Standout batter there for Victoria. Randy Quinton Joya, 40 odd. It yeah, looks like he's uh, going to be opening the bowling here as well. So, all round performance here for him. There we see the batters yeah, and the submarine. Jordan Bowers batting here. Three innings, just 37 rounds to show for it. Man, who dropped the ball there in the deep extra cover. So, all to do here for him. And Kinnok here. Four innings. 38 runs. So hopefully the strike rates are pretty good here. Pretty decent for these two. These are two youngsters that's going to take it up here. And let me tell you, if these youngsters are anything to go by, they have got absolutely nothing to lose here. They can just go and express themselves as batters and just go out there and have some fun on the sun. Yeah, I must say that uh, the youngsters have been Impressive out here at the moment. We saw in that first game, it was uh, Behrens getting that uh, hat trick. Yeah, as mentioned, Quinton Randy Dreyer, just two wickets in his four matches played. But again, the youngsters have been impressive, Eugene. They have been. But I, now I'm going to say it again. I've said this all along, and still teams are not doing it. Why don't we see a slip? Just for, it doesn't have to be for the whole duration of the over, just to see if you can get. Some movement, but here he goes. Just hit that nice length. Bowled it nice and straight. I, I just think this, it's sometimes you just got to be a little bit outside the box for a couple of balls even. You don't have to be there all the time. You never know, you can get an edge, fly through to that slip. And that's them on the mark, and that's them going now. And they, that run going to Jordan. And Jordan finally off the mark there. Jordan Bowers, not able to get full blade of the bat on that one. No control. But the uh, most important thing is off the mark. Now it's a man, Kim Nokia. Up in the batting here with uh, Jordan. Again, Quinton Dre, the bowler. 40 odd runs in that first innings there for Victoria. 99 runs required. 58 balls. All to do here for Northern Scooted. Yeah, and he's going to continue running in here from the town end. Bowling to Keenan now. Can't wait for the for the next three balls to be coming to a close because we've got some news that might really get us into this game as we see Quinny running in. Slower ball, ball nearly went going on to the stumps. Jordan, you're very lucky there, mate. Jordan, very lucky. Now then, for all the Cryfontaine fans out there who's rooting for the Yellow Submarine, this is it. If they can manage to get the 100 runs, or 44 balls. That is seven overs and two balls. Cryfontein Cricket Club will go through. The big number is 44 balls. That's just going to be a single. Now then, got a little bit of a game within the game here. Certainly in terms of Cryfontein Cricket Club who are watching this game. I'm sure seven overs, two balls. Yeah, quick running between the wicket, between these two. If they're looking to get inside, uh, seven overs and two.
deliveries need to be expensive up front. Wide right outside the off stump. That's a dart ball, and that concludes this the first over. Three runs coming off it. That's one over, done and dusted. Yeah, good over there for Quinton Dreyer. Just going for three runs. Conclude the end of the first. Jordan and Keenan collectively two and one respectively. So all to do here for Northern's Goodwood. Again, if they're able to get that 100 score inside seven overs and two balls. Craft and ten goes through. Yeah, it's going to be Warren next out to bowl. He's quick leg spin deliveries here. Bowling from the golf course in. He'll be bowling to Jordan, it seems. He's on strike here. And they got to go some. Certainly got to just go and express themselves with a bat. The yellow submarines here. They've got to try. Yes, they want the W. But just go out in style. They see his figures. Four wickets in as many games for one and extra. So three runs. Ready in that first over. See a bit of a light breeze just swiping across there. Yeah! Big swing by Jordan. Now then the throw is on. Oh. He missed the stumps. He had all three stumps to aim at there, Ismail Prince. He missed it by a mile. Yeah, another opportunity goes down there. That one just going down, going down leg. And uh, Ismail... The shy of the wicket, not to be for Victoria. So again, I think Northern could are off in the pressure, but they're looking for those singles. They're gonna need more than singles. Oh, and even yeah, yeah. even if he had picked the, the throw up cleanly, there Warren Extra could have had his man as well. Now Keenan, he's taking guard. Where the runs gonna come from? Where are the boundaries gonna come from? Just all you need is a poor delivery and runs. That's it in the air. It's going to come to Murdoff. They get one. And at the minute, Victoria, they don't care because this is all going the way of them at the minute in this early stages. Remember, 44 balls is the big target. Oh, ho, ho. That was so close. So close that was. Very close indeed, Eugene. Gives himself room, and this is squirted out just to the leg side behind square. It's just going to be the one. And this is all going to plan here for Victoria Cricket Club. Lovely bowling. Bowling to the fields here. Bowlers of Victoria. That's down the leg side, and is that ball going to go all the way to the boundary? I think it is, as it hits the golf ticket board there, and it's shown as wide. Those are five of them as well. Eugene, I did mention that uh, all you need is that poor delivery and the runs, and we've got both there. A poor delivery there from Extra, going down wide. It's giving us a wide and boundary there. Five runs, and that's a delivery. Again, that's just not timed at all. Laid it on to the onside. Is this going to be one? I think they need to go more than one run here. The singles won't really help much. No, singles are not. If you look at the bigger picture here. Pulled away nicely. It's going to go to the midwicket boundary. There's that man there just picks it up. He gets a dive in. Not sure how he dived that way. But he keeps it down to 1.13 without loss of the two overs. Now nine runs to four that over for Warren Extra. Again, four runs, eight deliveries. Doesn't help much. Having a strike rate of 50. And three runs for Ken Nokia. Two overs, 13 for no loss. Most important thing, no, lo no loss of wickets thus far. Warren Extra, bit expensive there. But again, most important thing, just keeping under 10 runs. So, 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 so far, so good here for Victoria. So far, so good indeed. As it looks like a Sergio Pringle, he's going to come in to the attack here. He's the brother of the Big Tasty. He's going to be bowling from the town end. 
Mutz is giving him final instructions here. This is the final over of the power play. Here we see Sergio Pringles, Burley figures thus far in this competition. Five matches. This one is obviously is his fifth match with one wicket. Yeah, a lot at stake here for Victoria Cricket Club. A place in the playoffs, a place in the Champions League. Again, the Champions League will be played next week. Top four teams will be going to that uh, Champions League. Sort of trying to hit that, trying to move that across to the leg side boundary. There is Jordan. There's no one there on the square leg boundary, as I can see. The two men out as a sweep on the offside and long on. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jordan just missing out to that one in that vacant square leg region. This time it gets hold of it. Not great bowling, one have to say, with fine leg up and no deep square. Ball that was short, just sort of picked up and helped along its way by Jordan. Short delivery and uh, played across the line. Going towards the next side and uh, four runs. Doesn't look like this guy was standing at the uh, short front leg it was able to pick that one up. Don't know, even if he did pick up, he just needed to go pick up the ball from the boundary, man, because he was not going to get that at all. Not the best of ball there by Sergio. That's a slow ball. Ball's up in the air. It's going to go straight to long on, and that's the end of that. Quinton Dreyer takes the catch, and that's the first we could go on for Northern's good at Cricket Club. Yeah, slow delivery there from Sergio. Showing a bit of variety there, and unfortunately not to be for the opening batter there. Yeah, we see that delivery, slow delivery. Swipe, and uh, towards uh, long on. Quinton Dreyer. Textbook stuff there, mate. Didn't get hold of that at all and just lofting it straight to the one man that he shouldn't. He's got a good pair of hands on him as the chairman himself. Jason Wright makes his way to the middle. He's going to join Keenan. And uh, there we see Jason Wright again on and off the field in the office and out there in the middle. So, true, true Northern Scooter lad. He, he's a jack of all trades, mate. Jack of all trades. Now he's got a bat like a demon as well out there. Not much to speak of there for Jason Wright. So, all to do here for him. So Sergio, good comeback after being hit for four, gets the wicket. Just see Warwick just running across. He's going to fill that vacant third man position, even though it is short third man. Now, just three more deliveries required now to conclude. End of the power play. So far, this over four runs and uh, at wicket. So, good return here for Sergio Prince. Bigger part in Pringle. That's turned down to the leg side again. He comes in quickly. Gaz a shy at the stumps. Is that your man from Weinberg Boys again? Must be, surely, must be. The good old uh, famed Jock Callis Field. So, no, it's not him. It's not him, definitely See, not him. you just want to buy everybody. You just want to claim everybody came no, from Wine. The, the most boys. important thing is you need to advertise the school. <laughs> all the top, all the top kids must go go to Weinberg. And the umpire, apparently. That's up in the air. That is another catch, and that's another wicket gone. And that is Keenan. He's got to depart now as Warwick. He backpedals and takes a good catch. Another short delivery there from Sergio Prince. And uh, Kinoki, unfortunately, 
finding that top edge. There we see that top edge. He's looking to play towards the leg side. And uh, man, standing sh at short third, able to pick that up. And that's another wicket goes down now. Yet to reach the power play, Eugene. It just seemed they got a top edge onto the helmet, it seemed, as well. Mahmoud. As that is Reeves Seister, he comes in to bat now. Yeah, they just got to keep going. Those are his numbers. He's a much far better player, even with bat in hand, Reeve Seister. So can he make and finish this tournament off on a high for himself and get some runs as well? Now, just one delivery remaining to conclude the third. So what can Northern's going to do here? Many open vacant regions outside the inner circle. Reeve Seister. Show us what you've got, buddy. So Sergio Pringle, he's got one ball left. He's got two wickets for five runs. Can you believe it? The first ball or second ball, his ball was clipped for four. A fine leg. And then after that, it just seemed to have been a procession for him in this over. Left and right hand combination out there at the moment for Gurud, Northern's Gurud. Sponsored by Winfair. Big part in it's uh, Tard 777. Slower ball, bowl there by Sergio. And that concludes the power play. 18 for 2. Apologies, 19 for 2. Chasing a target of 100. The Yellow Submarine Northern Scooter Cricket Club. Sponsored by Tar 777. They're up against Victoria Cricket Club. Sponsored by Crick Adder. As we see, umpire Rancher Pretorius and their sponsors. ID 247. I'm sure she's going to indicate that the power play period is done. And there you have it. As the Big Tasty comes on from the golf course in India. And uh, the big taste is brother, Sergio Pringle. Good over two wickets with five runs. There you see the two openers really departing there. Serge off Sergio Princess Bowling, Pringle's Bowling, beg your pardon. There we see the figures. One over six runs, two wickets to show for it. Now is that uh, Justin Pringle now with ball in hand. The big lad. The, the big tasty as Eugene calls him. I didn't give him that name, unfortunately, or fortunately, either way. But it's, it's all lies. It's all lies. It's all lies, Eugene. Right. Be honest with the people. Everybody that knows Justin Pringle knows he's a big tasty. I never gave him that name. No chance. I'm not that good to give him that type of name. That is just hit into the offside. Actually, it's going to go on. Too long off. Right hand. So just the one. Up, up, Guri, up. Max over, Max. Pringle just set, bowling his slow arms. Now they're allowed more fielders outside the inner circle, just for regulation of four in the inner ring. Yeah, Jason's got to try and hit some big ones. Yeah, he won't feel. It's just on one of one ball. Oy, it's the old forward defensive. The old forward defensive. We've seen plenty of those today, Eugene. Again, it's those dot balls. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. You. Jason. You may block another ball if you're going to hit the next ball for a six. And there we see in the block hole again. But go for six. And Warwick Roder standing there at uh, the long on boundary. He's watching sail over his head. There, Rancher Pretorius is signaling a six there. Justin Pringle under pressure here. Good, Pringy. Go. 
Wide out to off stump. Wide out to off stump. He just couldn't get there. A better return there. Very good job. He's understanding where stronger points are for Jason. And he's bowled him. Trying to give him some room. And just bowled that straight. And Tasty, the big Tasty, gets the wicket of Jason. And that is another wicket gone now. And unfortunately, Justin was looking to play towards back of square on the offside. But not to be for him. Went for six. Dot, and now it's a wicket. There we see that replay. Victoria in the driver's seat here at the moment. And uh, Jason Wright, chairman of Northern Scooter Cricket Club. Having to part fish cheaply here. See the new batter out there. Another veteran of the club, Vivian Engelbrecht. Now uh, he's coming to bat in his fifth innings. 57 runs for the big lad. Vivian yeah. Engelbrecht. Yeah, they got it all to do here, the Yellow Submarine. They got to try and find a way to get to 100. They want to finish off this campaign with a W for sure. Yet to get any. Yet to get on the scorecard. 26 for 3 after 3.5 overs. Current run rate hovering just above the six and a half. That's not near good enough to get them to that 10 and over they need. You'll feel if that uh, Victoria managed to win this game, taking a lot of confidence going to the playoffs. Currently, Balvo sitting third in the log. So it'll be Balvo versus Victoria if uh, Victoria win this game. And certainly looks that way. Certainly looks that way. There's the old full toss being turned around to the leg side. They're going to come back for two. And Vervian Engelbrecht, he's up and running. And that's going to conclude four overs. Four overs, yeah. With a score on 28 for three. Nine runs in that over there. We see just a review there from Jacob de Jong. Review for a run out. Safe as houses, mate. Safe as houses. Not, not sure what, not sure what that was. Some TV time for Shotgun Harrison. That's what all that that was. Simple decision. Moving in to over number five, and this over is going to bring us to that golf ticket strategic timeout period. There we see the scorecard. Four overs gone. Twenty-eight for three. Seven runs per over. If things go as is. Only be able to get 70 runs and uh, fall short of their first victory year in this year's competition. Yeah, and in terms of Cryford and Cricket Club, they've got to do it in three and a half overs there and about. That looks a very, very steep, steep toss for them to try and get themselves into that playoff position. So it's going to be Sergio Pringle. He's going to continue here. He's bowling to resize the. He's still bowling from the town and he's going to come in, steaming in here. That's a wide outside the off stump. Umpire Jacob de Jong, he indicates, no, nope, that's going to be wide. Shake his start to start uh, Sergio Pringle's second over here. At crucial wickets at uh, crucial times for... Victoria, two wickets to show for it. Oh, he's gone for the old reverse. He's gone for the old reverse. Not sure that was part and parcel of what he should try and do. Just hit the ball downtown, Reeve. Oh, Reeve, just a bit ambitious there. Is that area at the deep extra cover? That's we got to hit. Hit the ball downtown. 
It's just going to be one. Sure, not for a single, Eugene. Yeah, but I mean, the intent is a lot better. I mean, the intent for trying to reverse sweep or reverse lap a seamer is just not there. I think just hit the ball downtown. And now it's Vivian Engelbrecht, the veteran. Now on strike. You see what he's got here. Slower ball picked up nicely. Though it's just going to be hit out to the man at deep square by Vivian Engelbrecht. Just another one. And currently. The required run rate, just over tw 12 runs per over. So, Victoria, well in the way yet for victory. And we'll move on to eight points. Hit nicely done. Town again is just going to be one. And they're just bowling to their field. The men in blue. Victoria Cricket Club just doing what they have to do. Remember, 44 balls is the first target they want to get past. Because that will mean they are definitely in that playoff position. Reef sized the hit and the first one very, very hard. But it just stays down to one. And we're one ball away from the golf ticket. Strategic timeout period. And uh, we will have uh, PM. So now Reeve says that just a final delivery before that timeout. Strat break. Much needed strat break for New Orleans Goodwood. Again, firmly hit again. Downtown again. Straight to long on. And that. Oh, and they're going to come back for two. That is, that is sloppy. That is really sloppy there by the men in blue. But that's going to take us to five overs. And that is going to take us through to the golf ticket strategic timeout period here where both these teams can have a chat with their relevant coaches and just see what they still have to do as indicated by umpire De Jong. And I'm going to hand you over here to that man, PM Prasant. और समय हो चुका है गल्फ टिकट स्ट्रेटजिक टाइम आउट का हम देख सकते हैं कि गल्फ टिकट द्वारा स्पॉन्सर हमारी ड्रिंक्स कार्ट मैदान में आ चुकी है और दोनों ही टीमों को उनके प्लेयरों को रिफ्रेशमेंट्स पहुंचा रही है गल्फ टिकट शेयरिंग मिलियन स्माइल्स एकदम सही टैगलाइन यूज किया है क्योंकि गल्फ टिकट ही है यू का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद ऑनलाइन राफेल ड्रॉ ये है फुली रेगुलेटेड रजिस्टर्ड और ऑथराइज्ड ऑनलाइन राफल ड्रॉ फ्रॉम यू आप अभी गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर जाके लॉग इन कर सकते हैं रजिस्टर कर सकते हैं अपने अकाउंट को ओपन कर सकते हैं और करोड़ों कमाने का मौका पा सकते हैं गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर आप रजिस्टर करें और खेलें अपनी किस्मत का खेल अपने लक को आजमाइए अपनी किस्मत को आजमाइए और अपने सपनों को पूरा करिए ओनली एंड ओनली विथ गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम क्योंकि गल्फ टिकट ही है यू का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद फुली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज एंड एब्सोल्युटली रजिस्टर्ड ऑनलाइन राफेल ड्रॉ गल्फ टिकट ना सिर्फ इस स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट के हमारे स्पॉन्सर्स हैं पर वो टाइटल स्पॉन्सर्स भी हैं हमारे इस बेहतरीन लीग के जिसका नाम है गल्फ टिकट प्रेजेंट्स केप टाउन क्लब क्रिकेट लीग टी टेन क्रिकेट का असली एनिमल और जैसे ही हम देख रहे हैं कि गल्फ टिकट स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट समाप्त होते जा रहा है वैसे ही हमारी ड्रिंक्स कार्ड अब मैदान से बाहर निकलते हुए And a big thanks again there to PM Prasant. And as you can see, this is all gearing towards this. On Sunday, three days, we'll be glued again to these screens here for the, the golf ticket presents Cape Town Club Cricket League, Champions League, T10 
the four teams that will qualify for that will go again and play a round robin game and that will also conclude with the final on the third day the 17th of april 2024 and uh, we are back with action and it's that big man with ball in hand let's hit out again down too long off and they just keep bowling to their fields here victoria cricket club 64 runs needed off 29 deliveries, seven wickets in hand. Gone for the reverse, and this time he pulls it off. And this time he pulls it off. And it's gone for four. And a good uh, effort there. Confidence shot there from Reef Seisted. Reverse sweep. And uh, in between, backward of square for four runs. Nice little boundary there for Northern's Gooded. Especially after that uh, strategic timeout. gone again he's gone again and it's gone potentially all the way we wait and see it has it's gone all the way for six another beautiful shot by reeve says that he thought the previous one was good that's even better from the young lad reeve says that and pick it up nicely in the vacant area for six so far on this over two deliveries ten runs and now what's the response going to be here from Justin Pringle? He's been hit for four. He's been hit for six of two deliveries. 54 of 27 deliveries. Now they've moved the sweeper all the way around from the offside. They're just going to try and find which one they're going to bring inside the circle. And they decided they're going to bring on long off so it's mud off in the ring still trying to find the right field here's a lot of jostling a lot of moving around keepers moving everybody bowlers moving somebody the captains moving everybody that's down the leg side now the pressure's on here and is that going to go all the way that's a great pickup Excellent pickup. And that's oh. wide. Right there, Poor yeah. delivery from Justin Pringle. Oh, just going Sober, down the next side. Sober, and, uh, yeah, force will have to ball that one again. Really expensive over thus far. 12 runs in three deliveries. See, there is a bit of movement out there. How you doing? The field Go changing, ahead. field placement. Nice. It's just everybody's running, mate. They've got to realize it's right and left. So now, Vivian Engelbrecht, he's on strike. He tries to move that. He literally tried to move that to anywhere that he possibly could. Just end up in hitting that into himself. And that's a dot ball. 52 of 26. Two runs a ball. Again, he tries to move it. Just going to be a dot again. So then, he brought that over back nicely in the back end that time. The big tasty. Still got a ball to go though. Still got a ball to go. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Now, can he finish out this over? Good. That is pulled onto the onside. They want to come for two. So it comes in like a rocket. It's just for one. Now that concludes a sixth over. 49 for three, chasing 100. Really frustrating times out there for Northern's Goodwood. Looks like uh, Vivian Engelbrecht wants to go for two, but unfortunately he's sticking with the one. And uh, now we move on to latter parts of this game. Victoria, it could be, it could be, it's, I think it's fair to say that Advantage Victoria at the moment, Eugene. 
No, most certainly you can. They certainly hold the key. They certainly hold the upper hand in this match. Northern's good at Cricket Club. They've got it all to do here. It looks like it's the captain himself, Mahmoud, who's going to come into the attack here. He's going to be bowling from the town end. And he's bowling to Vivian Engelbrecht now. He's going to try and move that to where that screen is, the big screen on this ground is. And that's going to be his target, one feels. Of course, the standing captain for Marco Wango. Not playing today. So... That's hit out. Too long off and he's dropped it. Sergio Pringle has dropped it. Mahmoud gives him a hand of applause. I'm not sure I would have done that. Unfortunately, Sergio Pringle not doing their business there. That old cliche, catches win matches. Unfortunately, drops it there. But again, Victoria on it. Pounds it near the moment. Big hit. Has it gone all the way? Fielders underneath it. Fielders underneath it. That is Warwick again. And Warwick has got a set of hands on him. And that time, Reeve Seister has to go. Some relief there for Mahmoud Peterson. And uh, Peg across the line again. Seister. Unfortunately, not to be for him. As he finds that man, Warwick Roder. Textbooks catch there from Roder. Well done, mate. Now the wicket goes down now for Northern's Goodwood. It's going from bad to worse here. It's also important for Victoria Cricket Club to win this game so they have some, a little bit of confidence going into those playoff matches, into that eliminator that, could, that they have to play on Friday. So it's a lot at stake here for them to win this game. That's Farner Moorman looking at his figures. He had a good outing the first time he played out, but he struggled since then. He's got it all to do here. And uh, Vander Moorman, of course, was part of that team. A victorious team in over 40s that won the World Cup in the final at Toronto Bosch. So, Vander Moorman, all to do here for Vander Moorman. That was Mahmoud's first wicket in this tournament. So, he'll be happy with that going into potentially that uh, playoff or eliminate a game on Friday. That's where we're all gearing to Friday. There we see standing captain there, Mahmoud Peterson. To continue his uh, first over. Just a reminder, the qualifier is the first game up on Friday. Oh, and he's gone straight away. He sort of moves that down to square leg. A little bit of a misfield. They're going to come back for two. And even over 40, Vanna Moorman has got some pace in his legs. So the first game up on Friday is going to be Rondebosch Career Club versus Durbanville Career Club. That is going to be for the qualifier and the eliminator will follow that. Belville's already in there. It's going to be one. We'll tell you after 7.2 overs whether Victoria will be in there. It looks all that they will be in there. Come on, skip. Yeah. Big hit downtown. Huge hit. Massive hit. Finally, Vivian in the bridge with that frustration, not able to gather. Clean hit and finally gets one. And uh, goes towards a long off and long on for six. He didn't even need to look at where the ball went. He was looking somewhere else, mate. It's, it's giving a bit of Diva Brevis. You know that shot of his? Doesn't even look at the ball. Just watch it sail it over for six. Come on, Eugene, eventually you've got to agree one day. Why, why, why? <laughs> Big Nathan is fighting me here. He's trying to get my mic off me. All eyes again from, <laughs> all eyes again from Eugene. There we see the sponsors. Lord's Exchange. 
Wellington Cricket Club. They're the boys that are sponsoring Victoria Cricket Club. Cricketer, Trust of India, that's them. They are, we, are they on their way to be club or being in the playoff? Bet Brick 7, those are the boys. Bottom there, the boundary markers. Those are the boys from Belleville. I've really been impressed with them and I've thoroughly enjoyed them as well. There's Wolf, one of the associates, associate sponsor, Wolf 777, as well, somebody's been crawling to try and find the ball there. Wolf, there they are, Wolf 777. Sponsors helping out this tournament here yeah, and helping out these teams being associated with these teams, Wellington Cricket Club, Lords Exchange. That's them there. We'll see them in action in the in the Soul game tomorrow. Uh, we all we all need it here as he's seeing. And look at him running off, smiles, and he's enjoying his. That's him. He's 10 second of fame. Go on, son. Yes, yeah, Steven. Yes, yeah, Steven. Yes, give, give us a signal there, Steven. Let's get. Yeah, we all putting our hands together here as Mahmoud runs in again. Let's hit out to deep mid wicket. Surely they're going to come back for two, you betcha. There they come. Twos, twos to the score. Still very important for them to win this game. And that concludes the over. So after two balls, we can just solely focus on the result of this game and what it means and the importance of Victoria Cricket Club winning this. Also for Northern's good at Cricket Club to win this game as well. As we look at that, no one really kicking on. Can Vivian Engelbrecht be that guy? He's on 15 of 10 deliveries. Reeves says that he got 16 of 9, but he needs somebody to really kick on here. Now there we see the bowling figures. Just a few bowlers, two bowlers over 10. Required run rate at the beginning of this innings was 10 runs per over. Justin Pringle, Mahmoud Peterson. But the most important thing is the, is the wickets. And there we see the next fixture tomorrow. That postponed fixture, Mass 23. Playing tomorrow from the 10 o'clock second time between Northern's Gooded Cape Town uh, Cricket Club, sponsored by Taj 777, up against Milton Cricket Club, sponsored by Lords Exchange. That's Warwick running in here. He's taken a couple of wickets with his catches. Can he take a couple of wickets with his bowling? Just a signal there from Rancher Pretorius, umpire, sponsored by RD247. Select bar to start the eighth over. This is the ball. After this ball, we can solely, purely focus on the result of this match. That ball has gone a million mile in the air. Who wants it? Who wants it? He's dropped it. He has dropped it. Aiden Damon, Aiden Damon, Aiden Damon. What have you done? Weinberg? What have you done? Weinberg? Definitely not Weinberg. Definitely not Weinberg. We can't claim that. The under the ball, but unfortunately drops it. Another poor fielding there from Victoria. Got a laugh. Got a laugh. My director in the ear. I'll tell you after this ball. Again, that ball is up in the air. It's going over extra cover. It's just going to be one. No, it's just going to be two. Just in my ear, Nathan, he was shouting as that ball got dropped. And the fielder was looking at his hands and he said, why look at your hands, man? There's nothing in your hands. The ball's on the ground, mate. <laughs> Not going to repeat uh, what was uh, said, but uh, that one just falling short. Hit downtown again here to Quinny Dreyer. You know he's going to mop up tightly. Good fielding from Randy. Quentin Dreyer. I must say, Nathan, we've seen a few drop catches in the, in the second innings here or in the second match today. 
Oh, very disappointing. Maybe after the game, you can speak to the captains. Ask them, mates, what's going on there with the fielding? Big hit downtown is going to come to Cody Dre. It's going to be a catch easy as you like. Like you say, he makes it look like shelling peas, I'm telling you. And that's the end of Werner Moment. You know what they say about Kent, Quinton Dreyer, safe as houses in the slot. And of course, you're not able to get the full blade of the bat in that one. Quinton Dreyer, rightly so, underneath the ball. And again, safe as houses. Good technique from that Wamba goal boy. And the wicket goes down. You really went there. You 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 couldn't just you couldn't wait to get that in there. Free advertisement, man. Free advertisement. Now the wicket goes down now. For the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Looking very murky here at the moment. Yeah, they got it all to do as looks like it's baby Seister, Pierre Seister coming in. He's gotta come and face the music here. What I want to see is I want to see him live up to what he's been telling me for all those number of weeks whenever I walk into him. As you see his numbers, 17 runs only in the four innings that he's been out there. I want to see him hit some runs. Runs indeed is what is needed here for Northern Scooted. But uh, I think it's fair, fair to say that yeah, Victoria okay. are through to the playoffs. They are through. There's no question about that. Their coach, they is happy. Saadi, he is happy that they're going to be in that playoff position. They're going to be up against Belleville Cricket Club. They're going to be in that eliminator on Friday afternoon. And most importantly, they'll be in that uh, Champions League the following week. So, still more games here. Season one of the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. There, Warwick has now taken a wicket. He's taken two catches. He's taken a wicket. He got a little bit of runs. Yes! Full and straight, full and straight. Gets a dot ball. Eight overs gone. Two overs to go. Two overs to go. 33 runs to get. Good over there from Rhoda. Five runs with a wicket. So, there are two overs now for victory. They require. 33 runs required. 16.5, if I'm not mistaken, required for victory for Northern Scooted. Is it, is it, is it possible, Eugene? Is it possible? 16.5. Did you say, did you say it's impossible? Or I'm did, asking, is it oh, possible, you're asking Eugene? Anything in cricket is impossible. <laughs> Are you asking me if this is possible? Eugene, is it possible? 16.5 runs is possible. <laughs> Come now, Big Nate. How long have you been with me, mate? Come on now. But, Vivian Engelbrecht, I will tell you, he's one man that will definitely think it is possible. It's going to be Quinny Dreyer. There's going to be a few slower balls here for sure. There it is. And that ball has been moved too long. Oh, oh. Mahmoud, there was an opportunity there for a catch, mate. Oh, no. The old parachute came up there at the crucial stage, just ripped. He just pulled the cord and the parachute said, no, just go, just relax. One run. That's in the air and that's cloth, literally cloth to extra cover. Yeah, Warren Eshdal says, ah, oh, that's how you take a catch and look at the celebrations. For that cloth catch. Extra, really ecstatic out there. So much emotion for that Victoria side. And uh, another shorter delivery. But unfortunately, not to be for Seister. Finds a man standing at uh, extra cover. Extra, there, that celebration. Yeah, man. Let's go. Now the way it goes down now for Northern Scooter. Now we see the introduction of uh, Eric Osner. Yeah, the shuffler shuffling his way out there in the middle. Not much runs to speak about because that's not his job. But he certainly has enjoyed this tournament. He's making his way. He almost looks like the old Graham, Graham Pollock venturing forward there. Making the long walk. 
He's I mentioned that uh, Teva Previs looks like someone else here. And then now you mentioned Pollock now. I didn't say he looked like him. I said he's walking, he's waltzing out just like Graham Pollock did back in the day. You would have never seen Graham Pollock play, man. Don't, don't expose my age, Eugene. Please don't expose my age. You, hear me that, man. Batted at three for the mean machine. Yeah, up there in the north. But it's the other mean machine in yellow. Northern's good at cricket club. It's got our attention. And it's Dreyer. He's bowling to Eric, the shuffler, Osner. There's the, there's the slow ball. There it is. Bowled from just in front of the umpire. Yeah, just like Grant there from Quentin Dreyer. Just a bluffing him. Slow delivery. A swing and a miss. But unfortunately, not to be. That's sort of moves down to the onside. Surely they can't come back for two. Sixty-nine for six. Victoria Cricket Club sponsored by Krikara. They are marching to that playoff position. What can Vivian Engelbrecht come up with here? Oh, he's got a top edge. He's got a top edge. The ball probably won't go because his outfield have been extremely lush. The ball doesn't seem to roll that fast, so they've got two runs. The fielder there, standing at a short third, was uh, Reese Thompson. Another slow delivery there from Quinton Dreyer. But unfortunately, not to be for Vivian Ingebrecht. The boundary. And there's a short ball on that. Probably concludes that over. So that concludes that over. So we're going to head into the final over here. Just uh, checking that uh, delivery. And uh, that concludes the end of the ninth over. It's in one for six. And uh, still that man, Vivian Engelbrecht, out there, the all-rounder. Now we see the bowlers. Quentin Dreyer now concludes his two overs. Brilliant spell for Dreyer. Seven runs and one wicket. Together with that batting performance up front. Scoring 40-odd for Victoria. So, so far, my play of the match thus far. For Victoria. Who's that? Quiddy? The old the old Weinberg boys. No comment, Eugene. <laughs> oh, and that's gonna go for four. That's gonna go for four. Let's see what the umpire indicates. She only indicates it's gonna be buys. Indication there from Rancher Pretoria. That misses everything. This my prince made to put himself there. Pretty technique. One just going sailing towards the boundary. Twenty-five for five, Eugene. Nah, start your car. Start your car. Get it idling. That's going to be another catch. That is a catch, and this time Sergio Pringle holds on to that one. Another thick edge, and uh, another wicket goes down. Yeah, it's all coming to a abrupt halt here. That is a top edge, flying to short third man, and Sergio Pringle takes the catch, and it's going to be the captain Ambrose to walk in. Finally, takes one, Sir Eugene. Must be those glasses he's wearing. Must be. <laughs> Who do we have there now, Eugene? Who do we have there? Will he be able to get a few runs here? Just. Uh, Consolidation here for Northern Skudud. 
Four sixes, mate. Super 24 over. runs, 24 runs. Super over? Again, anything is possible. But you did say, Eugene, you can't backtrack now. You did say that it was, okay, the, people must start their engines. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's gonna, this is going to super over. This. My car is well and truly idling, I tell you. It is idling. It's going to be well and truly warmed up. When I get into that car. Ah, then four balls to go and to conclude this match match number 28 of this the golf ticket presents the cape town club cricket league t10 big appeal umpire then shabitura says not out perhaps that one just an impact outside off and then again with just a bit of height there Rancher just singing that one. There we see that delivery again. Again, just outside of. Oh, the old reverse comes out. And the ball, the fielder misses. The ball is that's Mahmoud again. Can't manage to stop that. And it's a reverse sweep there by Ambrose. And he gets four for himself and the team with two balls still remaining. Ambrose for Sakhir. Two more deliveries. Show us what he got. Yeah, he starts there with that uh, reverse sweep. And uh, four rounds, Mahmoud Peterson. Oh, he just walks right across that one. So, final ball of this match to be bowled here by Warren Extra and Victoria Cricket Club. They have booked their place in that playoff. Where's it going, Eugene? Where's it going? It's just going to be go for one. Onto the onside, and that's going to take the Northern's good at Cricket Club score up to 80 for seven. They reached 80 in their allotted 10 overs, seven wickets down, and that's victory to Victoria Cricket Club, sponsored by Cricketer over Northern's good at Cricket Club, sponsored by Tars 777. Seven, seven. So we have, so we have got the four teams that will go out and vie for that finals come Sunday. It will first be. It will first be Durbanville Cricket Club. They are up against Rondebosch Cricket Club. It's going to be the sequel. It's going to be the sequel from what we've seen today. They will be up first on Friday. And they will be followed by Belleville Cricket Club versus Victoria Cricket Club in that all-important eliminator. The winner of that match goes through to Saturday to play qualifier two of whoever the loser will be between Rondebosch and Durbanville Cricket Club. So a lot of cricket still to look forward to in this. The golf ticket presents the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. And uh, there we see that next fixture played tomorrow. Northern's good. We have to come back again tomorrow morning to play that a postponed fixture. That ran for out fixture. Mass 23 between the Northern's good club cricket club. Sponsored by Taj 777. Up against Milton Cricket Club. Sponsored by Lords Exchange. Yeah, that's going to be the match that was rained out the other day. So both those teams are going to come back tomorrow morning. Nothing to play for, but just pride in that one. And it's another chance for the Yellow Brigade, the Yellow Submarine, Northern Skudu Cricket Club, to try and get themselves points on the board to try and end off their campaign with a W. So what we're going to enjoy now is somehow the highlights that we've enjoyed from that second innings. And then we'll get through to the post-match interviews with the various captains.
Welcome to the post-match presentation here of this. The Golf Ticket presents the Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 match. It was match number 28. The match between Northern's Guru Cricket Club, sponsored by Taj 777. They were up against Victoria Cricket Club, sponsored by Crick Adder. And there were a lot of permutations in this one. But Victoria, they come up top and be and winners of this match and go straight into that playoffs. But first, we're going to have a word with Ambrose, the captain of Northern's Goodwood. Well, I'd like to see the smile on your face there, so. But it's been a tough tournament for you guys. But I think just looking at you, you still enjoyed this tournament. Yes, yeah, we're still enjoying it. It's a lovely format of the game, short format. We're loving it, just not with the bat at the moment. Yeah, you guys have struggled throughout the tournament with the bat. You've sort of competed with teams in the bowling department. That's something that you guys could potentially look at. You've got one more game to play tomorrow morning, but also looking in the offices and going into the next season. Yes, no, we're definitely going to prepare much better next season. Um, we used a lot of uh, second and third team guys mm. coming around this time, but we'll definitely be stronger next season. Look, yeah, there's a lot of guys that you could probably sort of... Uh, pinpoint as who's contributed the most anybody in particular that stands out for you from the, your group of guys um, I think Vivian uh, for uh, over 40 year old he did very well in yeah. the tournament so I'm happy for, uh, for him about that and then I think our bowlers some of our bowlers myself um, PS bowled very well um, Eric as well so I think I think that's a, a good we can take out of the tournament for us what do you think your youngsters are going to get out of it? the likes of Jordi the likes of Keenan they're certainly going to learn from this experience as well Yes, look, they're not very big hitters. Um, they run very good between the wickets, but this is also going to give them uh, the ability to start wanting to hit balls, mm. big shots and stuff like that. So we saw it a couple of times of, for Keenan and from, from Jordan, which we're happy about. So it's going to help them in the next season. Listen, I'm be, being very neutral. Even when I say this, you've got one more game tomorrow. Hopefully you can get yourselves on that board. We're going we're gonna to push for that one game, one <laughs> win at least. <laughs> Listen, go well. Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's a, new, that's a word from... Uh, Ambrose, and we're going to call Mahmoud. He's the standing captain here for Victoria Cricket Club. So, Mahmoud, I think you're probably happy that you got over the line there. Yeah, we, I think we were on a spot of bother there at the beginning. Um, obviously, that uh, over of Quinny saved us, um, and we were actually targeting 95. Ended up with 100, so yeah, we'll take that. Now that you've secured that position, you've got an all-important play. Uh, Quality, uh, eliminator game, I should say, coming up on Friday against Balva Cricket Club. Lots to play for. Any special thoughts in that game going forward? Yeah, well, obviously now I have a look at them, watch the few uh, YouTube clips and see what we can do. That's the advantage of this. And then obviously draw plans for that and take it from there. Would you think you have your full strength side out for that game going into such an important game in this tournament? I don't think we're ever going to be full strength, but we have a good quality squad and hopefully we have enough players available. Quinny certainly did the business for you with the bat and the ball and in the field today as well. Massive, massive player to have in our team. Very, very experienced. Always lean on him for some advice and yeah, love to have him in the squad. Listen, there were some tight, tight, nervous moments there for you, but you guys went, got through at the end. So really well done and all the best for that eliminator coming up on Friday. Thank you very much. That's the news here at the post-match interviews where it is Victoria Cricket Club, sponsored by Cricket Adder. They are victorious over Northern Scooter Cricket Club, who are sponsored by Tars 777. We've got a game tomorrow. That is between Northern Scooter Cricket Club again, and they'll be up against Millington Cricket Club. It is the revised game of the game that was rained out the other day. And then we're going to head in to the all-important playoff matches. Can't wait to see that.